We have just witnessed the final sad defeat of Mr. Damon Dash. What happened with the auction, the Rockefeller auction? So the auction happened yesterday and basically no one showed up. What up, words your boy Charles Brown back again talking facts. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe, hit the notification bell. Keep sending those cash apps to CLBMG. Gang, y'all remember that game? Def Jam Fight for New York. I really didn't play it that much, but what I do remember, it was exciting. I don't remember the final level bosses, but I'm sure if someone were to play it and they were to get to a final level, I think the boss should have been Dame Dash. The final boss should be Dame Dash of Rockefeller Records. And I just saw that actual final level boss just take his last and final defeat. It was sad, it was pathetic, and it was a ending fitting for a villain of such magnitude. You're gonna say, Charles, why are you calling Dame Dash a villain? He's the real one. He's the beginning of Jay-Z's career. He's the reason you have reasonable doubt. Well, I feel like Dame Dash has been a villain in spite of Jay-Z's success, and I feel like Jay-Z succeeded in spite of Dame Dash. I am one of the people who really are put off by Dame Dash and his antics, and I just watched one of the saddest things, the final outcome of this whole Rockefeller, Dame Dash, I own one-third of Rockefeller records, I'm going to sell it for $10 million, right? What has finally happened? We're finally done with this. The state owns Dame Dash's one third of Rockefeller Records. The state owns one third of that Rockefeller Inc. That is supposedly the biggest asset of it is Jay-Z's Reasonable Doubt record. And Dame Dash was trying to peddle you a Rockefeller chain if you came in with a $10 million bid, right? Allegedly, he was gonna give you the chain off his neck for your $10 million bid. So what I am coming to understand, I watched Dame Dash's video, I read a couple news reports, and I wanna talk about this because here we are. Mr. Hustler Hustler has actually become the thing that we all knew it was, right? A, a scam peddler in his own words. He doesn't understand it, he just told us he was trying to scam everyone out of this one third of Rockefeller. I'm gonna tell you what happened and I'll let you decide if this was about to be, or it was some type of hustle that Dane was trying to play on people and it failed. Let me read this and we're gonna have a discussion. Dame Dash's Rockefeller shares sold at auction on Thursday, November 14th, the off delayed auction to purchase Dame Dash's one third share in Rockefeller records finally took place with the state of New York coming out as the highest bidder. According to the New York Post, reports of an anonymous, an anonymous, <laughs> Albany rep placed the winning bid of one million dollars. The state did what's called a creditor's bid, which means they didn't have to pay one million dollars up front and can now make a no-risk sale of the asset. The other two anonymous people also had bids in the running of two hundred and fifty thousand and two hundred and twenty-three thousand. The move was reportedly done on the state's part in order to recoup Dame's nearly $2 million in tax debt. The auction, the auction of the stake was ordered back in February after movie producer Josh Weber won a court judgment of 823000 Now, let's listen to that. He won a court judgment. Dame is trying to say they're lying and they, they use a bunch of dirty tactics like having the trial in New York when he lives in... LA or he lives on the West Coast or wherever and he had some warrants out for his arrest so he couldn't go to the trial and that's why they won. That's not why they won. They won because they were going to win because Dame really screwed up that movie. But let me keep him. He claims he directed it and that was the whole problem of why they went to court in the first place. Right? So do one oh, uh, over almost a million dollars against Dame Dash. He owed him that as well. It was initially set to take place on August 29th, but was postponed after taxes and child support became an issue. So Dame has taxes, child support, and legal judgments against him totaling in the millions. He was trying to sell this Rock 
Rockefeller Inc. Um, stock or ownership for ten million, so he could pay all of them back and come out with another five, six million for himself, right? It was a hustle. And he says it in his new video, which I watched the new video of Dame Dash explaining what happened. And I want to have a whole conversation because I really, I don't understand. Well, and it's a lopsided world. People are following and believing anything. But people that go on to Dame Dash's videos and say, Dame, you're the man. I'm going to read these comments right now. It's so weird because it, it boggles my mind how they really just feed into Dame Dash's ego. But I watched that video, right? And Dame Dash is defeated, gang. I'm just going to be honest. I'm not relishing it. I'm just telling you the facts because I still I still have a problem with that. I'm going to say this forever. That Breakfast Club interview where he went on there calling them chatty patties and saying that you're not a boss. If you, have, if you call someone else a boss, then you can never, he can't respect you. Basically, if you're a worker, you everyone should be a boss. Anyone that is a worker should not be worthy of respect. I lost respect for Dame since he said that. I would never, ever change my opinion. I feel like that was some suck-ass shit. It was a dude talking on some hustler, drug dealer shit, and we are real people who got jobs. And he was disrespecting people with jobs, and I did not like it. I never will. I felt his ego was out of control, and he was talking to people like, you ain't gonna get in money, nigga, so you ain't, you ain't good as me. I'm a boss. You're not. So I've been watching this slow decline since that interview, and I've been covering it on my channel. So this is the final defeat. And I know some people be like, Charles, what's your problem with Dame Dash? He said that, but he meant it this way. Everybody's trying to explain how he meant it. I know how he meant it. He meant it like, I get money, you don't. You call dudes bosses, I don't. I'm, I'm that man, you ain't. And that's how he meant it. So now I'm watching the decline. Him trying to sell something that he's now saying was not worth even a million dollars. He was trying to sell it for $10 million. He thought some, some collector was going to come buy it for $10 million. He thought he was going to hustle it. Well, then Jay-Z put the cease and desist. Well, he didn't put the cease and desist. He put out a letter saying that I'm going to revert. That's going to revert back to me in seven years anyway. So do what you want, but you ain't going to have it past a certain date. Dame got really upset with that. The state even had a problem with that because they're trying to get paid from it. So what happened with this video, this, this video that Dame Dash just put out, that's called It's Finally Over, right? It's called It's Finally Over. The, the deal is over. I watched this video. It's called Dame Dash, the Rockefeller Auction is Finally Over. Now, this is what is bothering me about all of this new Dame Dash on the internet. My thing is Dame Dash is claiming to be this big hustler, which he is. Which is the problem because Dame Dash still trying to hustle like he's in the 90s. Dame Dash comes out on this video now. Me as a YouTuber, I know you're supposed to say, oh, like, subscribe, hit the like button, da 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 da. I'm not Dame Dash claiming to be a multi billionaire, millionaire type of dude that got all this money and did all these big deals. Why are you coming on YouTube talking about hit the like button, hit the subscribe? You sound like me. You sound like one of us small timers. Dame, you're, you're, you're supposed to be this big guy. You're starting your new network. It's like an old man trying to learn, learn new tricks, an old dog. He's coming out, oh yeah, uh, hit my, buy the pause, but now he's selling merch in the bottom. Like, gang, listen, listen. This is a defeat for a man who has seen hundreds of millions of dollars in the rap game. Now you're on YouTube telling me to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and buy your merch. Everybody and their mom is doing that. You're just learning this? Like, gang, this is to me. I'm just telling you. This is not a boss mentality to me. I don't see Jay-Z's. Where's Jay-Z's YouTube channel? That he's on there making videos with Dame Dash in the thumbnail talking about Dame Dash. Where is that? See, Dame Dash wants us to believe that he's moved on, but the whole the video says the Rockefeller auction is finally over and he has Jay-Z in the thumbnail. He claims in the video that he's done talking about Jay-Z. He don't want to talk about it no more. As he then goes on to talk about Jay-Z even more, talking about oh, only Jay-Z lawyers showed up. People don't love him like I thought they loved him because they didn't come to buy it. Only people, he said nobody showed up. Nobody showed up to the auction. Well, they knew the auction was a fraud. He's trying to clown Jay-Z. Nobody, nobody came to the auction. I, that proves how much people love him. They don't really love him like he say they do. I thought they would love him. So he was counting on you guys to run out and spend two, three, four million dollars on this thing that he know, he said in the video, that it wasn't worth even $250,000. He said it's barely worth a million. He's trying to make you buy for $10 million. And then when nobody showed up, he's trying to clown Jay-Z saying, nobody love him like we thought. I thought he had all this muscle. Apparently, people don't love him. Oh, so you try to sell a bogus steak and something that was not even really worth nothing. Then when people didn't bite, you're trying to blame Jay-Z. 
people must didn't love Jay like I thought. I thought they loved him. I thought so. You thought you was gonna scam everybody for something you knew before. He said before the auction even started, they evaluated that. They said that thing ain't barely worth a million dollars at total. So why are you trying to tell people online to buy it for ten million? Make it make sense. You knew before the auction even started it wasn't worth a million dollars. You said it wasn't worth a million dollars. Two bids came in at, at 250000 And then the state didn't pay a penny. The state didn't pay a penny. Gang, I need you to understand. The state paid nothing because he owed them. They really just took it. That's why nobody showed up. Nobody's going to try to bid against the state. The state took it. It didn't pay a dime. Now they're going to just sit back and try to make, figure out ways to license it and make money off of it. And they still got to work with Jay and Biggs. He claims that, that Drake put a bid in for $6 million and disappeared. I'm going to talk about that in a whole nother video. I'm going to talk about Drake on a whole nother video about $6 million bid. Then he goes on to say, oh, everybody out there wants me to fail. They count my pockets. Then he goes on to say, when you count another man's pockets, that's gay. That's gay to me. I'm sorry. That's gay. Really? You think we're going around counting your pockets? Gang, no one's counting your pockets. You're on here every day talking about some Jay-Z, Rockefeller, this and that. He's upset that Memphis Bleak said it's sad what Dame is doing. J J J Fat Joe said it's sad that to see Dame going like they looking, he looking at it like they count his pockets, right? It's that old school hustler, 1980, 1990 mentality. Oh, y'all count my pockets. Yo, it's gay. You, 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 like, like, dog, that's not what they doing. They saying, Dane, you look crazy out here. You're trying to sell something that ain't worth it, and you're trying to use Jay-Z to do it. And trying to diss Jay-Z at the same exact time, you look crazy. You out here begging for money, right? You chasing down, what's this guy? I, I can't remember the, the director's name for $2 million you allegedly gave him back in the day. You went up on a movie set talking about, I need my $2 million. That's not how you move out here. And people think that, yeah, they ain't, ain't want to get his money. That look crazy. You're going back and forth with 50 Cent, your teeth falling out your mouth. It look crazy, gang. I'm just being honest with you. So now you're like, oh, yeah, count my pocket. This narrative, they creating a narrative. Everybody wants to see me fail. Dude, nobody really paying attention to you. You made a bunch of noise when you try to sell this damn third, third of Rockefeller. Nobody was even thinking about Dame Dash. You've been fighting for two or three years trying to sell this thing in every kind of way. Then you was trying to sell an NFT, all this stuff. Like everything you were selling be Rockefeller based. You have the America New YouTube channel, right? Good for you. That's what you're supposed to do. You need to be focusing on that. Just build that. But everything on here got to do with Jay-Z and Rockefeller. Brad, make it make sense. You don't want to talk about it, but everything in your channel got to do with Jay-Z selling Rockefeller, this and that and the third. If you a hustler, he just he's in the video talking about, I, I've been, I stepped off blocks before. I didn't step off this block, gang. You still talking like you're, like you're moving weight. If you was really moving all that weight, we wouldn't even be talking about Jay-Z. Let's just be honest, gang. You're still, you're still trying to use Jay-Z's name. You tried to sell something in Jay-Z's name. So you're blaming us talking about we're pocket watching and this narrative going around. It's not a narrative. It's a fact. Sometimes, most times a narrative is a fact. People trying to use the word narrative as if it's a bad thing. Sometimes the narrative is what the truth really is. Dame himself says he's broke and doing bad, but he tries to make it like I'm a hustler, so I'm doing all right. I got the movie coming out on BET, right? You should have a movie on BET. You should have been did that. Irv Gotti did that five years ago, Right? What are we talking about? You're making it like you're making moves that nobody else could do. Dame, the average dude out here is doing what you're doing, just putting it on YouTube. You're making it like you're ahead of the game. Dame is on this video, man. He came, he came out looking sad, slow. He said his head is down. He's like, nobody showed up to the auction. Well, why would they? Why would they? I'm just going to be honest. First of all, no one even knows the real. It's, you're saying one thing. Jay-Z saying another thing. The state saying the third thing. You got bills and, and all kind of stuff all over the place. He's like, I didn't even show up to the auction. I was at my, my I was at a birthday party, right? You didn't even show up to the auction because you knew it was bullshit. You didn't show up to the auction because the whole thing was a scam anyway. Why would you not show up to the auction? Please explain that. If my whole life is on the line, I got taxes, I got child support, I got I'm damn right gonna be at the auction. What if the guy that wanted the Rockefeller chain came to the auction and you wasn't there with the chain? Make it make sense, Dane, please.
You didn't even go to the auction yourself. And you want us to go out, you want us to go there and buy it? Come on, man, make it make sense. See, the reason nobody went, because they knew it was a fraud. They knew what they was getting. That's why Jake Drake disappeared. Getting that is only for show. The only person that would pay for it is Drake. What happened was he put the six million bid up and somebody got in his ear, somebody with some real knowledge of the situation. They was like, that thing is worthless. See, Drake will get it just to say he have it. But I think Drake is so much nonsense with all his other stuff. He don't need the drama of having that. He got so much other stuff going on. The drama of having that ain't even worth it, of dealing with Jay and all this and dealing with the fans saying, oh, here we go. Da, da, da. Drake trying to rebuild his image. He ain't got time for that. But you're expecting any random person to just, he probably thought some day trader or someone was going to come and throw 10 million at it just to say they got it. It don't work like that. He said it in the video. What about the Wu-Tang? They must don't love Jay like that because they bought the Wu they bought Wu-Tang for 2 million. And there was one dude named Martin Shkreli who's an asshole and he did it just to be a jerk. And he already got it took from him by the IRS too. So what are you talking about? It don't make no sense. You, you want another Martin Shkreli to come out here and give you 10 million? It ain't even the same. The Wu-Tang thing was all original material. Rock, 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 how long? Reasonable doubt about 30 years old. What are you talking about? You're trying to make it like, oh, they must don't love Jay. If Jay drop an album right now, it's going number one. Just being honest. If Jay drop a surprise album this morning, that shit going to be number one by Friday. So what I'm saying is, you're trying to equate, they didn't buy a third of Rockefeller Inc. from you, so Jay must not be that hot like you think he is. He really just said, I thought Homeboy was more loved than this. This show you that people really be hyping up. What are you talking about? Make it make sense, gang. You still trying to discredit this man's legacy. What you need to do is grow up. Gang, you need to grow up. Start building your own brand. You keep telling us, I got the rock band come. The rock band, this been coming since Rock Nation dissolved 20 years ago. However long Rock Nation been, however long Rockefeller record ended, you were supposed to be putting out rock music. Dame Dash put the a label. It was called the Dame Dash Music, and he had. Be I remember the, I went to the website. It had Beanie Siegel was the was the only the biggest artist on there. A couple rock bands and a couple other things going on. None of it popped. None of it hit. Nobody cared. Did not make another hove. Just being honest. So at the end of the day, all of this was supposed to be manifested years ago. Right? You're finding new ways to sling this app. Now, people giving you advice. Yo, you're making an app that you got to pay to get people like, you can't do that, Dame. Now he's figuring out, oh, now I got to put it on Roku. I got to put it on Fire Stick. It's like an old man trying to learn new tricks, and he's still stubborn with it. It's the simplest nonsense, and you're you, you, you stumbling through it, like, trying to figure it out. Gang, you tried to make an app that you had to download and pay monthly. That's not going to work right now. That's not going to work. You got to have it access to it on every medium. You wanted it just on one app. Everything going to go through that. And somebody must have gotten your ear. Yo, you got to put it on different social media. You got to put it on different platforms. Roku, Fire Stick, things of that nature. It got to have access. You can't just have it on your phone. It's not going to work. So he's like, yeah, yeah, okay. Da, da. You're learning stuff. These are things that you should have been known. But I think you were so caught up. And I'm Dame Dash. And you're still trying to hustle the block and, and muscle these things. Like that took, probably took 10 years to realize that ain't going to work. That's why your taxes messed up. That's why you all these tax, all these all these things about your child support. Because it took you 10, 15 years to realize I can't just muscle and 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 and, and hustle and, and fool these people like I used to. Half these people ain't taking my calls no more, so I gotta figure out another way to hustle. Now you're trying to do the YouTube thing, which is oh, we applaud that, right? But don't get on here and acting like you bigger than it and you bigger than everybody on here. And when you still saying the same thing with no, oh, subscribe, hit the like button. Like, get out of here, gang. And then the simple fact of the matter is, we people like me, right? I'm from the same era as you. No, I did. I wasn't a drug dealer in Harlem, right? I was in D.C. We did our things differently. But I, I know the game that you're running. You're trying to make it like everything got to be like this bigger. I'm bigger than that. I'm like, yo, I'm still getting money out here. You 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 you, you teeter in the fence. One one sentence you say, I don't have it like that. And the next sentence you say, I'm still getting it like that. If you ain't got more than two houses, then don't feel sorry for me. It's still You're still trying to just, look, gang, listen. I need you to humble yourself. Yep. I'm pocket watching, but I don't care how much you got. It doesn't matter. You can have $10 billion. I'm still going to say, Dame, humble yourself because you're still thinking it's about the money. It ain't got shit to do with the money. I don't care how much you can have $10 billion. You still walking around here. You're, you're not humble. 
And the problem I have with it, you're trying to pretend that you are. You're trying to pretend you're bigger than Jay. You're trying to pretend you're bigger than whoever. You're trying to pretend you're, you're bigger than 50. You're not on none of these guys playing level and you're trying to act like you are. I don't see I don't see 50 Cent on here talking about subscribe to my new my YouTube channel. Right? 50 Cent, how long 50, how long has 50 uh G Unit TV, all that? That stuff been around 20 years. You're just learning this shit, gang. So no, you're not on their level. If Dame would have humbled himself, he would have been successful years ago. That's the problem he doesn't understand. He still wants to play like he's on their level. I don't want to be around these guys. I don't want you can't be around them. You're not on their level. As a person that don't like to play the game, I understand what you're saying, right? I don't want to be around them. I don't want to do that. I don't want to have to move in their circles. All that rings true. But for me, I don't want to do it because I'm doing my own thing for you. You really want that. Because you keep talking about it. If you didn't want that, you wouldn't talk about it no more. You keep saying for years, 20 years, just, I don't want to talk about Jay-Z. I'm not, I can go back and pull an interview from 20, from 10 years ago where you said, I'm done talking about Jay-Z. It is a fact. I can find you an interview 15 years ago, 10 years ago, five years ago. Every time you turn around, you're done. I'm done talking about You said it in this, I'm done talking about Jay-Z. And guess what's going to happen in a few months when the, when, the, when the views start going down and everything start getting slow? It's going to be some magical reason to bring up Jay-Z again. And this is the problem. You're not humbling yourself. You're still allowing yourself to be dragged back in this thing you keep saying you don't want to be in. Your money, win, lose, or draw, is not going to come if you keep talking about Jay-Z in a negative, positive, whatever kind of way. You're still bringing that up. And I get it. Oh, everybody wants to get you on Mav Hoff. Everybody wants to get your opinion on Rock. We're going to be thirsty for that for years, gang. We, we could ask you about Rockefeller Records for the next 50, 60 years. As long as you're alive, we want to know something. We must have missed something. This, that, and third. They're going to ask you forever. You got to determine you're done with it. And every time you bring it up and you say his name again, you bring yourself back in them circles and you make it look like you wish you were still in it. Because if I didn't like something, I didn't care, I wouldn't talk about it. Under no, It wouldn't matter what you asked me. Every time they ask you, you, you speak on it. That tells me you still feel a way and you still got something to say about it. So if you're going to own it, then own it. Stop making it like you got one toe in, one, one toe out. I don't want to talk about it no more. I'm good. And then next thing you know, guess what he's talking about? He got Jay-Z in a thumbnail on his new, new YouTube channel, right? It look goofy. It ain't boss moves to me and to a lot of people. You're going to shoot yourself in the foot. Your stuff is not going to work because they're going to keep re referring you back to Jay-Z and what he's done and what you didn't do. You should have disassociated yourself from Jay-Z 10, 15 years ago and never spoken to man again. But you realize, ah, if I do my own YouTube channel, I can monetize that Jay-Z conversation for me now. Right? So now... All of a sudden, it's more Jay-Z talk and more this and that. And now you want to sell Rock Inc. and all this and that. And then you try to downplay Rock Inc. in the video. Listen, gang, if that's your biggest asset, your downplaying it is weird. Because the state need, still need to make the money off of that, right? The state bought that so they can make money. If anything, you would be bigging up that thing so they can make their money and leave you the hell alone. But now you're trying to make it seem small and they must not really like Jay, da-da-da. Jay gonna be fine. Jay music still does what it does, gang. That album is 30 years, 35 years old. You ain't even selling the album. You're selling Rock Inc., which is worthless. And you try to make the you try to make it into something by saying, oh, I have reasonable doubt. Gang, listen, all of that, all of them people in the comments over there on Dame and they worshiping Dame and it, that's cool, right? But the people that see through that, like me, understand that you're not humble and you're still trying to be this big, you're trying to play the role, be in the middle and walk like, oh, I'm still the man, but yo, I'm in a bad space. I'm low, like it's like, like it's a hustling mentality. Yo, I'm down right now, yada, yada. You mad at Jermaine Dupree. Oh, you you try to catch me on camera talking about, uh, yeah, Dame, are you okay, da, da, da. It was foul that he did that. But at the same time, you were doing bad. And you and you were doing foul, and you said in the video, "Oh, if you're not gonna let me, you're not gonna send me a check." Da da da. If you're this boss, why would you need him to send you anything? Why would you be upset that he said that, right? And see, this this is the problem with when I when I when I have these issues with Dame Dash, it, 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 it it's it's because, and I say it all the time, I already own things, right? 
I already, I, I have been an entrepreneur for 20 years. I would never downplay the workers that work for me, right? Never. And when I saw him downplay people that actually have, and he's never apologized. When I saw him downplay actual workers with real jobs, and he made it seem like they was chumps, that bothered me. And it's going to stay bothering me. So don't get my comments trying to explain what he meant, because I know what he meant. I'm never, ever going to forget that. It really bothered me. Because I was a worker for years, right? And I know what he meant. I know what he meant. Oh, you call a man boss. No, I, he, it's, it's a remedial, uh, ancient, freaking like Neanderthal thinking. Like, I can't have no boss. Da, da, da. It's goofy. And I understand what he was trying to say, but he said it wrong. He said it wrong. And the way he said it was on that block mentality where you're separating the workers from the bosses and you're and I'm a I'm a boss you're a worker shut up and do your job I don't like it and I'm watching him fall and I watched him come out on this video looking old looking like he's just learning this YouTube thing and I'm going to some of the, this video is is like they need to edit this better some of the stuff need to be taken out but I'm sure he's like don't cut nothing leave it all in right it's 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 a bad look from the outside looking in, this whole thing is a bad look, right? I'm just being honest. He looks like a broken man trying to make excuses for his biggest thing, not selling. This was the biggest thing in his life, and he's trying to downplay it. Oh, it's only worth a million. Well, you try to sell it for 10, gang. You're still living in the past, and the past can't pay you no more. You're trying to belittle something, then you shouldn't even be talking about it. If it's so small to you and you're glad it's over, then what you make a video for? See, this is the thing that we, what, what, what people like me, we understand the game. You made a video because you're trying to still capitalize off of it, even though it didn't sell anything. You need the money. Just be that guy. Be humble. You're still trying to prove to everybody, I got, well, if you ain't got more than one house, then don't worry about me. See, you're still trying to be the big man. Gang, anybody with any intelligence sees that you're hurting, you're in trouble. You're trying to pump up something that has very little value. The reason it has very little value, you only own one third of it and it's 35 years old. So what I'm saying is humble yourself. Stop trying to show us you're still in the game. You're still, you're, 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 you're a, a guy just getting in the game is on the same level as you. A YouTuber can make a page tomorrow and blow up and get on your level. Just be a grown man with the rest of us, gang. You ain't got to keep trying to be bigger than us. You, you big, you seen it all. And when I was in the court, you tell all these old corporate stories and how you used to protect the artists. That's great. That's great. Just be that guy. Because right after you tell that story, then you go and call somebody gay for watching your pockets. And that's what I'm talking about. I need you to settle into this new role of grown adult that's just like everybody else. You ain't a boss. You ain't above nobody. You just a regular dude trying to get out of your tax trouble and catch up on your child support. That's it. All that stuff you did in the past is over. All these Kevin Lau, Kevin Lau stories and Leo Cohen stories, that shit is over. That's it. Catch up to the rest of us. Just be a grown man. Go to work. Just tell us about your work and people will start to care. People would die. I would pay for the app. I pay for all kind of bullshit just because somebody is trying to make it. I would have already downloaded that American new bullshit if you wasn't such a fucking asshole. I'm just being honest. Humble yourself. I can see through it. I can watch that video and in, in 15 minutes, I can decide he still ain't humble. He still thinks he's better than everybody and he still wants to come off like this cool ass Harlem ass hustler. Nobody cares about that shit no more. Just being honest, nobody cares about that shit. What can you do today? Just do that. Peace. Look, mission impossible to drop a few lines without yeah. dropping old times when Southern Hill was still a gold mine. With pistol grips was my shit and I sold mine. When Alias was not a show and they told mine. Elevate your mind with high quality THC infused products. BlackYeti.com. Black-Yeti.com.